Well, hey everybody, and welcome to my October unboxing video. As you can see by the background, I'm embracing this season and all that comes with it. Uh, that might be a clue about what my unboxing will be this month. I will tell you this, if you're a nature freak like me and you enjoy being outside, this product is going to be for you. And if like me it seems like there's not enough time in the day for you to do everything you enjoy, this product's for you. So got the box here. Let's see. Yep, there's the box. And what is this? There's a battery warning on it on the box. So that might be a clue that this is gonna be something electronic, so I'm not gonna say what it is. It's something that I decided to upgrade to this year. If you remember last year, I did another video similar to this. So before I even get into that, let me just go ahead and jump into this. Let's open this bad boy up. I hate it how this does in the background. Don't need the box anymore. Let's see. Uh, this is my newest electronic device. If you remember last year, I shared with y'all that I bought a headlamp since I was outside after dark and walking a lot. So I bought a headlamp for being safe walking after the sunset I let me see here it is I enjoyed this thing so much last year I wore it out and instead of replacing it I decided to get an upgrade and this is my upgrade this bad boy here is about five times brighter than my old one and it's also rechargeable. This one actually is actually brighter than a car headlight. So let me open up and see if I can get it out. Let's see what it looks like. I'm excited about this. All the goody stuff. Don't need that. There's my charging cable. I guess it's my charging cable because here's another ca cable. These are clips. I think they're for the. I know what these are. See, this bad boy is so good and so big and so bright, you have to wear it on your hat. There's the battery. I mean, look at this. Look at all those lights. And the cool thing about this one, you know, this is the battery on it, but on the battery itself, you see that little line? That is a red LED light, tail light. So not only do I get my headlights in the front, I got a tail light on the back. And what you're going to do is you're going to, after you get it charged before you go, you'll put it over your hat. See if I can fit it over this hat. I can't adjust it just right, but you'll put it over your hat and you'll use these to clip it, to clip the straps down to your hat to keep it in place. That's pretty cool. And another cool thing about this is you can adjust the angle of the light. So if I don't want it shining too far ahead, I can just up, down. This bad boy is going to light up the night. I'm excited about getting it charged up and using it. It's um, it's funny. One of my neighbors here that I went to school with, he he and I, I think I shared before, we all walk at the park at a nearby church together from time to time. He actually saw mine that I bought last year. Went out and bought. Not only did he buy himself a headlamp since he likes running at night, he bought a 
light to put on his son's stroller. So when he's in a run at night, or he's in the road, he'd has he'd have his headlight, and then he have a light on his son's stroller, which I don't think he's gonna use that much because now his son is actually not only walking. I've seen his little toddler running with him, so he may have to invest on getting a headlamp for his son since he's not pushing him in the stroller while he's running or walking at night. And he, he actually thanked me for telling him about these because he, he had said himself, just walking from our neighborhood to the track with his headlight, he said he noticed more vehicles were trying to get out of his way. You know, he, he assumed, like most people, that some people had headlights, they'd see you, they'd see you walking. But the sad truth is, a lot of people aren't paying attention. People pay more attention when they see bright lights coming towards them because they're afraid that they're going to get hit. And this, with this bad boy, since these lights are brighter than a car's headlights, I guarantee you people will be getting out of my way. So I'm, I'm excited about using this. This is actually the, um, it is the Vic, Victor Pro is kind of like a, like a, um, you pronounce it kind of like a, a dinosaur, like a velociraptor, but it is a, um, Victoper V1000 2200 lumen, 2, lumens headlamp. I'll put the link to this product in the description of this unboxing video. So if you want to buy a headlamp, if you're getting ready to get out, be more active during the fall, or you just want to be more visible when you're outside walking, or if you are a trail runner like my little brother, this will be great for you. And I actually got this one on sale. And since I got it on sale, I got it for less than I paid for, paid for this one that is like not even half as bright as my new one. So it was a good, it was a good deal for me. So I couldn't pass it up. And I can't wait to use it and get out and show off, I guess, to my neighbor. Hey, which he may want to get another one, one of these, because like me, actually he's in the road more than I am because he does most of his running in the road around the track at the park. So this one will give him not only a headlight, it'll give him a tail light so people can see from behind. So I'm excited about that. I'm going to get off of here. Read the, all the directions so I get this bad boy charging and see how it's going to work. But I hope you're having a great fall. Hope you're enjoying the cooler temperature and the leaves as much as I am. Hit the like button. Leave a comment in the section, comment section below. Let me know what, what you're doing. Let me know if you purchased a headlamp last year or if on the, you're on the market for one. This is for you. And have a great day and enjoy the fall and keep active. I cannot say that enough. A body in motion stays in motion. Just because it's not summer or spring doesn't mean we need to retreat inside our homes. It's actually one of the worst things you can do. Because you're going to keep on breathing the same stagnant air over. And if you live with other people, you're just going to pass germs around and around. If somebody else in your home is sick, you're just going to keep breathing the air with whatever virus or germs they have in the air. That's why people get bronchitis during the spring and the summertime, because they stay inside underneath the air conditioning and breathe in the same air. So get outside, get you some fresh, clean air. Even if you have allergies, take something for your allergies and get outside. I have fall allergies more now than I did when I was younger. When I was younger, I had spring and summertime, but now I have fall allergies. Get outside. Leave a comment, anywho, and I will catch y'all later. Okay? Peace out.